just the announcement of last night, uh, what made you feel comfortable that that was the right time to make make well, your feelings public or not? You guys didn't ask me before. <laughs> you asked us not to ask. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought it was already reported <laughs> no. by one person or another, so I was expecting to. And then I'm talking to our media people, and we're just like, I think you were supposed to say something. I'm like, you know what? Timing is everything with this, and I'm glad I could share it with the Boston fans and everybody there. And it was just it was a great reception. And I was just happy to get it done with. I mean, um, you know, I just have every intent to sign back. Just want to clear it up with me and Danny and the management have not talked about any numbers, so please do not ask me about it. That goes for for anybody. Don't want any tamper or anything like that. July 1st or whenever that day is, when we'll talk about contract and stuff like that. But I have every intention to sign back with Boston. Well, when did it be? I need just um, some time and um, kind of be back in Boston and um, you know feel great about uh, you know, different things I wanted to explore in my career. But I think the important thing was just being happy and having an environment where I'm challenged, um, you know, on a physical level, but as well as mental, and I can get better as a basketball player and as a man and grow here. And um, you know, I do have a dream of putting my number 11 in the Raptors one day if I'm if I'm so blessed to do that. Work my tail off. Obviously, a lot of great players are coming for me, but to grow my name in Boston Celtics tradition and history is um, something I'm, I'm, I'm glad I can do. And I'm playing on that. So. How much did that play a factor, Kyrie, and, and you feeling comfortable being here long term? That the opportunity to be one of the all-time greats with, with this particular franchise? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I mean, because it's a challenge in itself. I mean, you know, I can sit up here and say I want to be one of those guys, but a lot of great players come through um, you know, Celtics history. Quite a few stand out more than the other. Um, you know that, that's a challenge in itself, and I, and I willingly accept. Um, I'm looking forward to you know, going with this team and, and seeing um, you know where we end up. Honestly, uh, and I thought it was a perfect time to, to really let everyone know. And, you know. I have every intent to sign back, and um, you know now I don't have to any, answer any other questions like what are you looking for. And uh, it's just it was time, and um, you know, I'm glad I get past it. And, be with my teammates and we can move forward without any distractions. Even though the season hasn't officially started yet, I mean, was there a party that was kind of getting tired of that narrative that you knew was only going to grow as the season progressed? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's like the things that you really consider, it's just like, you know, obviously you have different environments, but for me it was like, I'm happy here. I'm, every single day is at an all-time competitive high. I mean, you know, what more can you ask for? just from an organization, you know, taking a chance as well as getting me out of Cleveland and, and really taking a chance regardless of whether or not I was going to sign back or not. They had the same attitude that they just wanted to show me what, you know, being a Celtic was about and I was going to come around and I absolutely did. You know, and, um, I believe in it. I believe in the franchise, the organization, the players we have here. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting, um, you know, this season going and, and focusing just on that. You've got, you've got young guys like Jason, Jalen, Scott. I mean, that played a huge factor into it. Um, you know, obviously, we're all but just our past, but you know, you can't help but think about the future. I mean, you know, obviously, having guys here that are special already and have the opportunity to continue to get better is something that I'm looking forward to helping them with along their careers and, and them helping me. I mean, you know, they're great. You know, they, they committed here or they were drafted here for a reason um, and for me I just want to be right along that that same lineage of just being with those guys and growing with them. So and honestly thinking about starting over was just a shitty thought. Honestly, <laughs> it's just like man I do not want to move again. I do not want to uproot my family and you know just be dealing with everything new again. Not, not that you know any disrespect to any of the organizations but you know here was perfect for me. It was a perfect fit. Kyrie are you trolling with the, with the shirt? Um, What's the meaning of it? What's the with the with the, with the globe? It's a shirt, man. Like, let it go. Let it go. Let you gotta go. ask, man. Let it go, man. <laughs> let it go. Uh, Kyrie, you got a shirt that Julian Edelman wearing on the 11 jersey last night at the Patriots game with Edelman on the back of it. Yeah. Is that a breach of protocol? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. It passed by me before it got on. <laughs> so, nah, nah. But I'm I'm a priest here, man. Julian's a great person, man. So I'm. I asked them, um, you know, hopefully I can ask the patients if they give me a number of the My name on the back, just like Julius had his name on the back. So nice. Is that kind of cool, the brotherhood, camaraderie between sports in this city? Maybe, is, it, is, it, is it different than other places? Uh, 
I, I don't know. I can't really comment on other places. I mean, but being here, uh, you know, for, for the last year, I can see that you know, all the sports towns, we, we all support each other. We all want to see each other do well. I mean, I myself, am, I'm a supporter of the Red Sox, but I can't necessarily call myself a Red Sox fan here in New Jersey. So, just one of those things. I love the Red Sox. I support them from afar, but just woo, <laughs> that East Coast rivalry, right man. It's just woo. Yeah. Final question is really. Uh, you know, embrace being the team leader, you want to be the leader of this team. Do you think this announcement kind of, that I'm here for the long haul, kind of helps you with uh, yeah. that further, like influence everybody else on yeah, the for team? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I know it made um, a lot of guys comfortable. Um, you know, management, our coaching staff, you know, they don't have to worry about recruiting me the whole season, you know, telling me how great of it is, you know, how great it is to be a Celtic and be here. You know, I kind of just came around it to myself. And honestly, you know, me asking Boston, and, um, you know, asking the Celtics if they were having me back. You know, that was the first question. I just wanted to make sure. And then, you know, from that point, it was an easy decision telling them I would plan on resigning. How did Jimmy Butler take the news? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of indications did you have? Like, you talked to teammates before and last night at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our core group, no. Our core group. What did Marcus kind of react to you? Told them about the Uh, I mean, you know, I hope they were happy. I mean, they did. <laughs> I mean, but I think that as you can tell, we're we're getting closer as a group. But we have something really special here in terms of the environment we create, and we all support one another. Uh, and, and I think it's great. I think it's great that we all uh, you know, we continue to grow together, and, you know, for this season and beyond. Thanks, Gary. Sorry, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Gary.